Darwin 200 team reaches the Bass Rock, the highlight of our southbound leg of the voyage along the Scottish North Sea coast. I've longed to visit this island since I was a child, and so jumped in the rib to the small jetty beneath whirling clouds of gannets. from the landing point to the Gannet colony passes through the remains of a 15th century castle that was once used as a prison for some notable inmates, including Walter Stewart, Earl of Athol, and the 17th century Scottish Lieutenant Colonel, John Blackadder. The island has also been used as a retreat for Christians and was the hermitage of St. Baldred in the early 17th century. Today, though, it's ruled by seabirds. Bass Rock is home to the world's largest breeding colony of northern gannets. There's over 150,000 birds here, as you can probably hear from all of this squawking behind me. These guys roam over hundreds of kilometers. So even though Bass Rock is a tiny speck of land, it's regionally important because birds from here have been recorded as far away as Norway to North Africa. Unfortunately, there's bits of plastic all around the nests of the gannets. They naturally bring seaweed to Bass Rock to make their nests. But sadly, lots of bits of plastic really resemble seaweed. This bit here, for example, look, it's green. It's got long threads and filaments. That looks exactly like seaweed. So this gets carried up to the island, and that's part of the problem. All sorts of bits of plastic end up here. Look, here's a child's balloon. Did it float up here on the wind, or was it carried here by a gannet? It's impossible to know. The really sad thing, though, is these pieces of plastic can kill not just once, but many times. Once they've killed one gannet and the body decays, another gannet can pick it up and the whole process can repeat again. So I think we better collect these pieces and take them off the rock. to sit amongst the gannets is a rare and very special experience. They seem to get on with their lives without paying too much attention to us visitors. But then, a gannet landed with a necklace of plastic wrapped tightly around its neck. Apart from looking very uncomfortable, the plastic may prevent the bird from feeding. Sadly, plastic causes the death of thousands of seabirds across the British Isles every year. Luckily, Maggie Shedden of the Scottish Seabird Centre spotted this poor bird. She caught it oh, well done, Maggie. and quickly, without too much stress, the netting is cut through. Maggie, <laughs> thank you for having us on Bass Rock. Does that happen a lot? Yes, 
Sadly, um, I think one of the worst things we see are, this is strange, but very often we see fishing line. You know, if you've been mackerel fishing, your line breaks, oh, that's fine. I'll right. just put another hook on. Okay. And we see them at times with it caught in their wings. Really? Now, I think this bird we saw perhaps a month, six weeks ago. Okay. We couldn't get it. Uh, so it's managed to eat, but it was completely caught in the gate. It's okay. So it must have been cutting in there. Yes. And that's not pleasant. It's some kind of net. It is net, it's net. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so often it's um, fishing line with okay. a hoop. Do you see a lot of fatalities from the plastic? At times, yes. I think a couple of shots I've got are birds just hanging where they've gotten caught or their webs gotten caught. Are there any threats to the, the island? Um, I think you've always got to be aware of your biosecurity. Any island, as we've seen colonies being devastated, um, the Shants uh, is an example. Uh, where rats predated upon uh, the puffin colony, it numbers drop. Here, we're very careful. We checked you guys out yes. today when you arrived. It, particularly rodents here would be an issue. It just takes a couple of rats and they will go around and, you know, predate on the eggs. There used to be sheep grazing on this island. And if you look up here, um, this was just green, you, you know, covered in soil. There's, on the very top, there's a wall garden where the lighthouse keeper used to have their potatoes and their crops there. And I believe there was a cherry tree. Uh, nowadays, it's gone back to just hardcore rock. As one of the most important seabird islands in the British archipelago, visiting Bass Rock was an unforgettable experience. Back on board the Darwin 200 ship, we prepare to set sail for the final part of our journey, our voyage south to London.